Hello and welcome to uh, Copper State Treasures. Today I'm going to work a little bit on the uh, Model A top. On my 28 Model A, it's an older top. Uh, there's one side on the passenger side, it's kind of wearing out. When it rains, it tends to leak in there. So I'm going to try some uh, Flex Seal on there. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I put some Flex Seal on and I'm kind of happy with the results, uh, but I need the whole top to match and look uniform. So today I'm going to apply a coat of Flex Seal on the entire top. Let me show you what, um, what this looks like after drying for a couple of weeks here. To come around to the side that I did here. So you can kind of see this is what I did here. I brushed it on. This is the area where it was shrunk up and, and dried out and that's over the metal part. Then you have your your soft part. I think the metal uh, metal part ends about there. And then it was leaking through the front here as well. So I want to make sure that gets uh, sealed up really good along there. And that's, it's a little glossier look, but it seems to go with the grain pretty well. Let's go ahead and uh, put some flex seal on here and see what the whole thing looks like. All right, this car is six foot two, so uh, I have to get up on a ladder to uh, to reach it. I uh, I did a, a narrower brush before, but uh, no, that wide brush isn't going to work. I'll go st stick with this narrow brush. I've cleaned and dusted off the top. And you can tell by the the difference in the um, kind of the glossy look with the flex seal and the uh, unfinished top part. Just the difference in um, in the glossiness that uh, you know where the older part is here. So I opted to do the. Um, the can stuff here so I could control better how it goes into the grain. I'm just trying to get an even layer, make sure it's pressed into the grain. It's a slow process and it's, this stuff is pretty thick. I don't have to worry about overspray since I'm brushing it on here and get some in this front cap here. Here in Arizona, we might get one or two rainstorms a year, so it might be a while before I actually get to test this out with anything other than a garden hose. You can clean this stuff up with uh, mineral spirits that uh, after that first application, the brushes are cheap enough. I just threw the brush away. There's some holes in the top here and a few cracks. I'm making sure to get it in nice and good. It's, I'm finding that I, I have to brush really well into the grain or it tends to kind of bubble up. I've also waited to a uh, time of the day here where it's literally about 70 degrees outside. So hopefully this stuff will flow a little bit better.
if you have any of these old antique cars with these vinyl grain tops, as they get older, they just, they shrink up. That probably won't happen if you have them in a, a good temperature controlled place. Um, and never drive your car in the daytime. The sun is probably the worst enemy for these type of tops. There's a 24 hour setup time on this, but it was really a few days where it still kind of felt tacky. Now it's a couple of weeks and this part I did feels fine to the touch. And it's picked up enough just dust from the air that it um, doesn't have quite such a glossy look to it. I'm hoping this will extend the life of the top for a few years. Because obviously it's no fun to retop your car. All right, <laughs> toasty warm out here. I'm gonna, you can see I'm about halfway through. I'm gonna shut the camera off, finish the other side just because I don't want my back <laughs> to the camera. So uh, we'll come back when I get the rest of it finished sealed. All right, got it done. The whole project took maybe an hour to do and it took, oh, about 18 ounces out of this 32 ounce uh, can of Flex Seal. Um, about a dollar an ounce. That's about $18 worth of Flex Seal right there. It's expensive. I've used this stuff on swamp coolers and you know holes and roofs and stuff and it's held up really well. So we'll try it on the top of my Model A. Um, let me give you a look at uh, what it looks like here. We'll do a little bit of a walk around. It's uh, <laughs> it's pretty shiny and pretty glary. All right, so that's kind of how it looks fresh. <laughs> really glossy. Uh, we'll uh, take a look at it in another video and maybe um, maybe I'll uh, do a, um, a fake rain test with the garden hose and see how it holds up. 
but uh, I would never do this on a fresh top just to preserve it. Uh, this top was already failing and uh, you know, a, a purist would go and replace it. But uh, for a fix that might, uh, you know, last a few years, uh, it's uh, pretty cheap. So anyhow, Thank you for uh, joining us uh, here at Copper State Treasures, and uh, we'll see you next time. All right, so here's your 48 hour update. This is uh, set up for a couple of days here now. And it's actually looking pretty good. Not here without falling. Here to give you a closer look here. Um, it's, it's set up nicely, you see how flexible this stuff is, it still retains the nice grain, and over here it's, you know, hard where that metal part is, and uh, there's a little dust on there now, that just brushes right off, um, but I'm real happy with how this is looking here. Let's, uh, throw some water on it and we'll uh, see how it does with the water. It's the trouble I was having was uh, inside the car, water was leaking down from the front and all, all along the side here, uh, and this got wet, water was dripping down um, onto the floor. And uh, I came in after it rained and this is just all soaked. So let's um, <laughs> run the water hose on here and uh, see how it does. There you can see how it just kind of beat it and rolled right off. It uh, just rolled right off this front part here and uh, into the, the little rain gutters here. Uh, but man, <laughs> it actually looks really nice. I'm real, real happy with how that, that flowed on there. This is the real bad area here. You can kind of see where the top is torn a little bit and that just sealed up super nice. So, got these nice large <laughs> beads of water. <laughs> I'll, have to, <laughs> I'll have to drive it really fast now and uh, get it to uh, get it to dry off <laughs> so anyhow uh, that's a that's a big thumbs up for me right now from what I've seen so far uh, we'll check back and over the summer it's uh, February right now so we'll see how it stands up to the hot Arizona Sun so anyhow that's all for now well, big surprise. We got uh, lucky here. It's a big winter storm coming through Arizona and we actually are getting a, a live rain test 
with the uh, flex sealed top on the Model A here. And uh, it's been raining a good uh, probably five or six hours. And it's this is all dry. There's nothing leaking through, nothing coming down on the windshield. So it's a real successful live world test uh, of our flex sealed top. So um, let's see if I can get a rain slicker for my camera here. And I'll show you kind of how the outside's doing. Wow, there's probably like an inch of water in the streets. Time to call out the National Guard. All right, there it is. You can see how nicely it's beating and rolling off the top. Cool. Very cool.